Hi everyone, here in this video we're going to talk about our new feature which allows us to use a filter for import products. Uh, we can find this filter in our settings tab in this table. Uh, so this dynamic filter is set by default for uh, active product which means status equal 1. And to set and configure this filter we need for us to set our integration to draft and then we can edit this filter. Uh, so also I suggest you uh, to use some syntaxes, tips and values uh, for configuration of uh, this filter. I will be using uh, such values of ik, equal, uh, in, not equal and not in. So uh, let's check how it works. Uh, first of all I will show you that I have 375 products in uh, my order from Magenta and the last one is 1118 ID and after that I created some products 1119, 12, 21, 22 which are still not imported and let's see how the filter working I will set entity ID equal uh, for example 19 let's let's save active so in this case uh, the filter working only for active products with id 11 19 let's go to initial import import products from external the jobs were created so let's update our table and here we can see uh, one more product was added Let's check. Here it is, the product with ID 1119. Uh, so let's check another case, for example. Let's set, we need to back to draft. Now we can edit our filter. Let's uh, use in, for example, 20 and 1121 in this case comma mm -hmm. uh, in this case we uh, need to receive two products with ids 1120 1121 okay let's click on save active and import products from external let's go back to our product table and update and here it is uh, two products were received with uh, IDs 20, 1120 and 1121. So this is how it works.